Hello guys, welcome to the insightful and informative variety on my YouTube channel. As the title suggests, today's video, we are talking about my investment plan for year 2022. Not only my investment plan, but my financial plan in general. I want to share them with the aim that it will motivate you guys to create your own roadmap on how you to deal with your finances for next year and be able to have guidelines. Yes, you maybe have a little hiccup next year when we achieve everything you want to achieve, but you have a roadmap map you have a guidelines of how you want to do things it makes it more simple so that's the aim of today's video to share my plans uh, with the aim that will also motivate you to create your own and know how to balance everything in general so if you're interested please do ensure that you like this video leave me a comment tell me what you think about my plan and also what's your number one a goal for year 2022 that you want to achieve in terms of your finances so what wasting any time guys please do ensure you like this video give us a comment and also subscribe to my youtube channel so let's get into this video Hello, future millionaires and billionaires, and welcome to an insightful and informative video right here on my YouTube channel. By the way, thank you so much, guys, for 11,000 subscribers. Truly appreciated. Let's reach 20,000 subscribers right now. So, on today's video, I'm talking about my investment plan or basically my financial plan in general. And as always, Please be mindful that I am not a financial registered advisor. None of my video constitute as financial advice, but only for educational purposes. As well, guys, take everything with a pinch of salt because I'm speaking from the context of being Ivan, a young student doing his final year in his LLP degree. So some of the things I may say may apply to you and may not apply to you. So be mindful of that when you're taking notes of what I'm saying and trying to use as motivation. You must be mindful of that because circumstances are not the same for everyone what works for ivan won't work for thomas and what works for thomas won't work for spay and what works for spay won't work for gift so you must be mindful of that so let's get into it my investment plan for year 2022 let me give you a little bit of context number one as i said i'm a final year LLP student in the five-year program and my plan my financial plan for the whole year of 2022 takes that into account is the primary factor in the decision i am making for the whole year in terms of my finances next year because i am a final year and with the high unemployment rate in south africa what i am trying to do for next year that i'm trying to at least save enough money that in 2023 when i'm a graduate i have enough money to sustain myself for the first four month of 2023 so i'm using 2022 to build up for that because i do understand that i'm a student in south africa a young person and unemployment rates are high in south africa so i've been mindful of that and what that means that before in 2020 2021 and years before that i have always prioritized investment compared to savings i always saved at between 25 to 35 percent of every money i have while the rest will go toward my savings instead of my budget where i do budget so if i have money between that i have to split between saving and investing 20 to 25 20 to 35 percent will always go to my savings then the rest will go to my investment but now the wheels have turned what is happening for year 22 what i will be doing that i will be saving almost aiming it's not a guarantee but aiming to save 55 percent of every little thing i earn in terms of my investment and saving so the portion between the two will be split in that way be next year as compared to what was split in the years before which was always between 25 to 35 percent and I know some of you guys are, are saying, hi, Ivan, why don't you invest the money you can get good return after a year? Yes, that's possible, but that would be me taking a risk. And that's a risk I'm not willing to take with my finances, especially as a final year student that soon will be unemployed or will be employed. I don't want to take any risk. I want to ensure that I have a level of protection when I leave the university. I leave the comfort of being a student. I want to be guaranteed that it's them. Because if I invest that money every single month, instead of saving it 
I may be taking on a risk and the market can crash any time and I may lose that money. And I'm not willing to do that. So that's why I'm choosing to save it than to invest it. So now let's get into the, in the, the saving part. How am I planning to save uh, 45% of my... I mean, so let's go to the investment side, not the saving side, but the investment side. How am I planning to invest my money, the 45%? for 2022 the way i'm planning to uh in, to invest it is in four stages number one guys you always know i've been a huge fan of the gse i love the gse but soon as my final student soon i will become an employer I'm sorry, employees. I want to employ, yeah? <laughs> I'll become an employee. And meaning that I will have a pension fund. And having a pension fund means that majority of that pension fund money will be taken from me will be invested in South Africa domestically. And as someone who's already hugely invested in the JSE, having almost a 75% of my portfolio in the JSE, I'm not willing to invest more in the JSE moving forward. So that's why through my Easy Equity account, Easy Equity USD, I will be now in focusing aggressively, focusing on investing in the New York stock market. But that does not mean I will stop investing in the GSE. I will keep on investing in the GSE and I'm planning next year to add three new stock on my 15 uh, stock portfolio currently, which will be discovering, it's going to be name pack and also it's going to be uh, Vukile Reads. I'm planning to add those three stocks and every single month, those 15 plus these two, I means I will have a portfolio of 17 stocks. I will be topping them off every single month, buying more and more of each company that's in my portfolio in the JSE. But I won't be aggressive anymore. I will just keep it steady. My more, more of my investment money will be going to the New York stock market. And the way I'm planning to enter the New York stock market is in three industry it's three yeah three industry that i'll be starting to use to enter fully in the new york stock market and be and be heavily in the new york stock market the way i'll be doing that i focus firstly majority of my money when i invest in the stock market 40 percent of my money when i go to the new york stock market is going into company that are dedicated in the development and the creation of the metaverse because i'm a huge believer in the development of the metaverse and i believe that's a huge Boom. That's a huge market. So much money is going to be made from the metaverse. So as I made a, v a video before, we'll put right here, talking about the metaverse. Huge of my portfolio will go in the 40% will be in companies such as Unity Software, Meta, which is aka Facebook, uh, 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 Disney World, because I believe Disney World will benefit hugely into uh, 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 the metaverse development and other few companies that I'm looking into. 40% is going to companies that are orientated into the metaverse development in the New York stock market using my Easy Equity USD account. The second industry that I'll be hugely investing into in the New York stock market, I think between 20 to 25% of it is going to be the healthcare industry. Healthcare matters. And with the way the American healthcare system is structured and the globe, how in terms of the, 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 the pharmaceutical companies are working, you may hate or love them. I'm not here to give my opinion on that matter, but I'm looking hugely to invest into the healthcare industry as well between 20 to 25 percent of my money will go into the healthcare industry in the new york stock market i'm looking to a few companies there i'm not ready to mention them right now because i'm still doing more research on them i will do a video if you want a video about the companies i'll be picking instead of the healthcare industry in the american stock market want me to do a video about it please tell me in the comment section i will do a video about them when i'm confident enough on them currently i'm not i'm spending my december reading more on those companies then the third industry in the new york stock market that i'll be investing hugely into is the food industry mostly global food industry companies that are found throughout the world i'm looking at them i'm looking to pick uh, a few of them and put up to 20 percent actually 20 percent into the food industry throughout the world and those companies must be listening to the new york stock market and then i'll be investing into and the rest i will look into tra traditional tech companies that are stable that we are we know of so for example 
I'm looking to Apple. I'm looking into Visa. I know Visa into finance, but I love their technology. So for my understanding and my research, I will call them a tech company. I'm looking to buy it as well. I'm looking a little bit into Tesla as well. I don't own an individual stock of Tesla, but in 2022, I'm looking to buy Tesla as well and also Neo as well. So the two companies, I will buy them the Moto Tech Company as well. So those are the four tech companies I'll be buying in my stock market in the New York stock market. So that's how I plan to diversify my New York stock market entrance uh, at the next year, buying those industries and entering it and be aggressive on those four industries for the whole of 2022 in terms of my investments. And the other side as well I'm looking to enter is the European market. I'm just waiting for Easy Equity to uh, open it up because I'm also looking to enter a little bit of the European market. So Easy Equity, sooner they launch um, Easy Equity Europe or Easy Equity London, I'm looking to enter hugely there as well. But I'm also not forgetting crypto, guys. I will be heavily on crypto as well next year in 2022. I'm looking Looking to increase my holding currently 18% uh, of my money is invested into crypto I'm looking to add uh 7% to make it 25% of my investment into crypto. I'm willing to put 20%, 25% of, of my overall investment into crypto. I'm looking to Kodana, uh, ADL, that's a huge crypto coin. I'm looking to it. Their blockchain system, uh, what they're coming with is a revolution. And from my point of view, I'm looking to buy more of that coin. And also as well, I'm not forgetting uh, my traditional old school uh, 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 government bond. I'm looking to buy a government bond of up to 5,000 Rand in April to use it as a, a, a sort of a saving tool. It's an investment, but I'm not a saving tool. But I'm looking to buy one in April next year as well for my brother. Uh, and my and my sister because uh they are my brother my sister is doing grade 12 so i'm planning to do a little something for her when she finished grade 12 and she passed and that government bond uh, when she when it pays out it will be me be able to buy that gift as well same as my brother as well um my brother is not doing grade 12 but it's going to grade 10 <laughs> uh, but i want to do what i do to my sister i want to do to my brother as well i have other siblings as well but i will do something else for them but those two ones are something i want to do huge for them as well so that's my investment plan in general speaking for next year and i said i'm hugely focused on my savings my savings i will be taking huge priority for me next year as well as my business i'm launching a new business next year in january i'm not yet comfortable sharing it with you guys i put the same few details i need to finish up but i'm starting a small, small business next year with a friend of mine here in pomalanga and this business will focus on operating in pomalanga so that's something i'll be focusing on as well putting money into it because i don't want to rely on my law degree i don't want to say everything myself rely on my law degree so this business i'm studying with my friend is have a backup as well to ensure that if something goes wrong i have a backup this business is there for me and also i'll be investing hugely into my brand i want to build myself up as a brand so i'll put a huge amount of money in that as well but not that much as well as ensuring that i balance ever doing my academics my work with other activity organization that i'm part of you know you mood law society you know your, your, your achievements project and everything that I do, I ensure that I balance them. But in general, in terms of I have to rank my investment overall, uh, my New York stock market investment will take priority. My business will take priority. The new business I'm starting next year. Uh, uh, my savings will take priority. Uh, my crypto investment will take priority. I'm ranking the most important one. And then it will be my JSE investment and my government bond. My JSE investment, as I said, I will maintain them maybe all the 40 17 stock into i will have next year uh, all of them maybe will get a minimum of 200 trend every single month i'm not planning to be big in the gc next year i will be doing some research to understand what's going on in the market what's happening one two three one two three but i'm not planning to be huge there I hope you guys understand, like literally because of being a final year student and soon to be entering the job market and I will have a passion fund, my passion fund will be hugely 
sorry for that, will be hugely in the JSE, in the domestic markets. I don't want to be part of that. So I'm looking to explore the New York stock market and also play with the European market as well, guys. The European uh, uh, automotive uh, economy industry is something I have been for years been obsessed about. So I want to be, I want to have a huge push chunk of that as well. So if is equity comes through within time and open it up to the land London market to European markets, I will appreciate that and I will invest huge into that and I'll update you guys. So tell me guys what you think about my investment plan for year 2022. What option what, what opinion do you have? What is your number one goal in terms of your investment plan for year 22? Uh, uh tell me in the comment section and I will appreciate you guys if you just subscribe, turn the notification bell, and also like this video, share it with a friend. But as always, guys, I am Ivan Sambo, your student investor. Thank you so much for watching.